Hello Dolphiliacs in Disney. Dust Collectors. I am so excited. <laughs> I'm immensely elated. Thrilled to the zenith, the zenith, the maximum, whatever you want, the apex. We just found out that the rumors are true. We are getting 2021 Disney Limited Edition dolls. I mean, we knew they were coming. They've just been delayed. But after a few months, it gets, it gets a little weird. But I, <laughs> today, you know, I saw on a Facebook group that I'm in for Disney Limited Edition dolls that somebody, this, um, I guess it's a pretty Insta-famous collector on Instagram. I'm gonna show a picture now. They actually had a post where, I don't know where they got this picture or whatnot, but we see four quadrants with four amazing, beautiful rumors. But look at these boxes. Like these are scheduled for release, honey. They will be launching and I need every single one of them. Every single one of them. Now all of these dolls are commemorating a anniversary. So the first one that is slated for release is in June and that is gonna be the live action Cruella. I'm so excited for this one. I'm really anticipating this movie. I'm not trying to set a high expectation because I don't wanna be disappointed, but I do think that this Cruella live action is going to be amazing. And then the second doll is one that I know every collector is, has to be thrilled about. Like, because the only other Alice limited edition had it like just a thousand, if not fewer. And it's the one where she's holding the teacup and she has this beautiful ruffled blue skirt. And it's actually like the Snow White limited edition face, but as Alice, and it is perfect. But I am very excited for this. Oh my goodness, do you see the silhouette? We have her with this full skirt, just like in the original film from 1951. It's going to be amazing. I'm so excited for this, Alice. For the 25th anniversary of Hunchback of Notre Dame, we're getting a limited edition Esmeralda. Like, Raymond is so excited because we had been talking about this being like, they need to make Esmeralda. Esmeralda needs to be a 17 inch. How have they not done this before? You know, we're not that upset because if they did have one, it'd probably be super expensive and rare. And we would be, you know, crying as we scroll through eBay, seeing all the dolls we can't buy. But no, she's coming out this year. If the rumors are true which they had better be, because I want my Esmeralda. Raymond is going to want Esmeralda. We're gonna get two, because <laughs> he's gonna want his own and I'm gonna want my own. I will say in terms of consistency with the In the Rags dolls that they've had with Snow White, Aurora, Cinderella, they really should have done the peasant outfit being like the blue dirndl outfit for Belle, her apron blue apron dress little town little quiet village it's not that dress it's the green dress the verde it's when she's in the library honey she gets her full library and she can get on the ladder and just go and go and go but yes we're getting her in the green dress and I was on a Facebook group where they're kind of like going in on it because people think they're not bringing up the fact that the consistency with the rags dolls is why we need the blue dress. They're just going off their own personal taste. So I think the more correct justification is that it's in theme with the rest of the limited edition in rags dolls that we've gotten. But so because it's more on their preferential, I'm just like, well, my preference is the green, and I think they're going to interpret it beautifully. If this is true of how the merchandising is going to look, we're going to have her in the green dress with the library behind her in the limited edition display box. 
So that is really gorgeous. That represents each of the updates in these four quadrants, but look at this. Now, Bell is not included in this schedule. I don't know why. Don't. This is where I got the dates from. It was another um, little snippet of a image rumor that showed up in this Facebook group. But what they do have listed is a limited edition doll right around the time of All Hallows Eve. We get Sarah. We get Mary. We get Winifred. So who are these beauties? They are the Sanderson sisters. We're getting limited edition Sanderson sisters, darling. 17 inch. What more could we ask for? Embroidery. That is what we can ask for. We want embroidery. <laughs> We want Swarovski crystals. We want attention to detail <laughs> because I need them all. And these are all very special ones. And it is kind of action packed because we're getting them all starting in June. Like it's all the last part of the year, literally. <laughs> so here we go, girls. Like get ready, get your <laughs> Apple Pay set up because you are gonna want it. Because if you're like me, most of the Disney stores around you have evaporated. They are gone. But I, I am super thrilled, Disney. I'm, they're gonna get all my money with the with this update. Like, I'm just ready, like, take my money, Disney. Take it. Take it. I don't want it. I want these dolls. I want them, all of them. I just need to get them. And at least two of Esmeralda. But anyway, I don't want to make this a super long video because it's not even a review. This is literally just me being overexcited and over um, joyed and overstimulated for the release of these limited edition dolls. And, you know, I do want to just take it back a notch and let you know these are rumors. Although I did see comments that said, honey, we got dates. It's real. So these are real rumors, like these are real rumors. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. And yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. And please let me know which of these you're most excited for, what you're disappointed on, what you think that they need to do. What are the must haves on each of these dolls, honey? This is the time to talk about it. Discuss, discuss.